Good evening. Oh, I need to actually unmute your map before before you start talking. Okay, and talk. Are you going to be nice to me tonight? Yeah, I'm going to be nice to you tonight. I mean, I could. yeah, last time Please last time nice. we were on stream together, it was a little <laughs> bit um, intense. Spicy is the word. Spicy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, someone I know, well, someone I know calls bumblebees spicy flies. Yep. <laughs> Tonight is going to be a nice chill one. Um, we're going to go through the expansion pack, um, show off some of the stuff. I think we've shown off a lot of it already. Um, so we're going to do the same kind of thing that you did in the last stream, which is just go through a couple of scenarios, um, show off perhaps a service on um, the colon route, and yeah, just just have a bit of fun. Um, let me know if the audio is all good. It should be, because um, I messed around with it last time and it seemed to be all right. But yeah, how are you doing, Matt? I'm good, Ashley. I'm good. Yeah. It's it's super busy week, but my weeks these days are only four days long, so oh, that's, um, right some, that's always it? a good thing. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's been a really fun week. Um, mind you, they're all fun weeks. So, yes, no, it's good. I'm, good. I'm glad the expansion pack is out now. Seen some really good feedback about it. Mm -hmm. um, I've been having some fun. I started my first stream this week, which is good. Been able to sit back and yes. play the game for a bit. Um, the one and... place I can't tell you off for streaming too late into the night. Yeah, absolutely. I can stream as much as I like. It's great. <laughs> um, everybody else tells me that when the morning when they see me and I'm like coming into the office. Ugh. I know everyone's going to think that I'm just really, really cruel to you, but really, um, you, you only get told off for streaming late if I think you're going to going to harm yourself. <laughs> it's all it's all in good spirit. It is, it is. So, so yeah, no, it's really good. Shall we crack on and we'll get into the actual playing of the game? You should do that. Yeah, we were going to do a scenario, and I've already forgotten which one we said we were going to do. We talked it through. I'm a bit quieter than Mike. You see, the problem is normally I'm too loud, and then and then everybody gets annoyed because my mic is too loud. Let's let's turn it up ever so slightly. Let's see how it goes. All right, you said you did rail tour last time, so we will do underground return ticket. We're not going to do all of it. Oi! <laughs> 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 I guess you're not watching the chat. Matt's just been very mean in the chat. <laughs> <sighs> I thought I might be able to get it by you. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll start with Underground Return Ticket. Um, we're not going to do the whole scenario. I'm not going to do um, the the all of the scenarios or else we'd be here all night. I'm sure you'd enjoy that. I'm fine. You, Matt. That's, that's fine. That's I'm fine, but Matt. That. That's fine, fine. But Matt. Yeah. And also, I want everybody to actually get to enjoy them themselves. Because um, you don't need us to show off absolutely everything. I, can I just say, I love this piece of art. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I think it's great. I love our creative team. I think they do such a good job. They are so good. Yeah. They are so good. When are we getting them on the stream? Soon. I'm trying. I always try. I always try to get some new blood on the stream. Can't make them, though. I'm quiet until I laugh hysterically. I'm sorry, I just won't laugh anymore then. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everybody can hear this, by the way. Can you hear it? Should be able to. I can't, but it's because I've got it muted, so. I can't tell if I can hear it or not. Wait, where am I going? Oh, let's go this way. Normally I turn the game down really, really low because I can't hear myself when I'm when I'm playing. Wait, what's that for? Oh. No game sound. Okay. Wait for your train. I think See, there is game sound. It's written I think on it's the top of the really, screen. It's just really, really quiet. Hold on. Uh, options, settings, audio. Yeah, see? Turned it way down. <laughs> I can't remember why I turned it down so low. Let's try that. Should be able to hear it a bit better now. Uh, Liam, there are no voiceover in scenarios on Train Sim World. We stopped doing that years ago. Oh, really? I think it was literally, literally only like Sam Patch Grade and Great Western that had VO in scenarios. Tutorials should all have it. Cool. 
So have you had a chance to play this much beyond the stream? I've done a bit of the 423 on Cone because you know me, I like my German trains. I do know that. Um, I haven't done much of the others yet, though. And before everybody I... asks, yes, I am the person driving tonight. What could possibly go wrong? It's great. I'm an expert. <clears throat> Um, just a heads up, we are aware that some people are having difficulty seeing Trains and World on the PlayStation 5 store, I believe it is. Um, and, and our retail team are currently investigating what's going on there. Um, but yeah, we we are aware of that. Um, why are there no VOs done in scenarios anymore? Essentially, what happens is in the, in the production cycle of a scenario, the minute you have recorded voiceovers, you can't change it. You have to... And you need really long planning cycle then to be able to design it. Once everything, once the train is done and the route is done, you can then plan your scenarios, and you can build them. And you know, or you can build them and prove they work okay, and then do the VO afterwards. Whereas the way that production generally works, because of the shorter life cycle, uh, uh, dev cycles, is actually the scenarios are kind of being built at the same time the route and the, the train's being built. And if the minute you do VO, you stop being able to be flexible with the scenario. And we're finding we are having to do less in scenarios. Mm -hmm rather than being able to react to I was like, oh actually this would be more fun if we did it over here but we can't change that because of all the VO and so it actually is just like you know what for scenarios we need flexibility I'd rather mm -hmm. do good gameplay and not have the VO than be tied to the VO so that's the reason so. we stopped doing VO in scenarios my gosh I've just realised it has been absolutely ages since I've played Big Lou <laughs> um, <laughs> this, <laughs> this could be interesting Uh, so let's Nick, when can we expect a fix for the flashing and sound loops in Xbox? I'm not sure what you mean by flashing. Let me know. Send me a message on the forums. Sound loops, um, uh, things like the jackhammer problem and and, and the like. Um, oh, this is not going to end well. Um, We're off to a good start. <laughs> Glass. I don't even think I've stopped at the station at all there. Wait, can you get out and look? How'd you get out and look? No. No, the only thing you can do is, uh, if it says unlock doors, you've stopped. Oh, I know what to do. Right, look, I'm going to show everybody how bad that was. Let's see whether, okay, this is the first coach. How many coaches oh, back, folks? Window. Let's have some bets. Oh, yeah. I think it will be we need... five. So this is a demonstration is on um, what happens when you don't break early enough. Um, I thought everybody would want to see that. Oh, my goodness. So this is number three. I said five. Oh, Liam said four. Liam said four. I mean, how many are there? Uh, there we this go. This is four. Oh, Liam, Liam was wrong. I mean, look at that. I mean, it wasn't even that. I had loads of space. That was beautiful. It wasn't even a good stop. Yeah, I mean, I've I've done much better than that I've, in terms of overshooting, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are the passengers on this train? Oh, interesting. Well... There was none on there to actually... I mean, to be honest, I haven't like... stopped at a station that anyone could get on these passenger cars yet, so... I will have you know that there were at least, like, three carriages that they could get on. Well, let's see what happens at the next station stop, because this next one is going to be perfect. It's going to be better than this, isn't it? Can't be much worse. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know it's driving, yeah. How... You know. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're off. <laughs> Okay, I'll actually, always I'll actually try and be hours. better now. But this is, I'd like you said, that I haven't played Bakerloo in ages. I forgot how to even break. So what I, what I, I'm not going to lie, one of the times I was doing this, um, I can't remember if it was on my stream or whether it was on the last one of these, um, I... Uh, was sitting there panicking that I couldn't pre I couldn't stop the train. Then I realised it was a combined handle, and I was pressing entirely the wrong button. Ah yes. How many notches does this have to break for? And Sorry. An emergency. Say that again. You, is, it, you can... is it four notches and an emergency to break? Uh, on this thing, you need to be careful because if you do lots of breaks, you end up oh, switching yeah. off the um, the other brakes and you switch into the uh, the slow air brakes. There we go. <coughs> We're on it. I've got used to this. It's going to be fine. 
I think it's three notches a brake on this thing, maybe. I'm, I'm actually scared Before you switch into the air brakes, and yeah. that's just pain. Now nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, so yes, I was saying um, the jackhammer problem. Um, the um, so we, we're, I've got some good recordings and examples of that now. A couple of community members yeah. have helped me, uh, and the audio engineer is looking into it, and we'll work out you know what the right the right answer is there. Um, and on yeah, the flashing problem, I need to know more details on uh, if you can, because I mean I, pl I play on Xbox Series S now primarily uh, at home uh, specifically to try and explore these issues um, and I must admit I don't recall seeing it I mean there are a couple of cases where you'll see decals um, Z fighting mm -hmm. um, uh, so if you see any of those then uh, let me know so I can get them into the team's list of things to do but um, if there's any major problems then certainly uh, let me know fundamentally the game's working fine on my Series S actually just blown away by how well the game runs on a £249 console that's the size of a shoe well, Half the size it's of a tiny. Box. I can't get over the size of that console. It's tiny. It's ridiculous. I mean, the Series X is small, but this, this, the Series S is verging on ridiculous, frankly. Mm. Shroot D, thanks for the extension. Good value for money. Glad you're enjoying it. I've seen a bunch of people actually in the forums um, saying that they're enjoying it, which is good yeah. to see. It's nice to see people enjoying it. Um, I recognise that there are some people that that, that don't want it, um, but we we knew that, didn't we, going into this? That it's it wasn't not going to be everybody's thing, everyone. is it? No, it's. Um, but it's kind of like if this pack does something that you're interested in, then it's a good time. Yeah. If it doesn't, then move on. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What we want to know is for how many people is a pack like this a good time? So tell us, mm -hmm. you know. And also tell us what you'd like to see perhaps from future packs. You know, we're interested in, in, in what the community would like. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's nice to see people are enjoying it. And I just think for 8 99 it's awesome. It's great fun. You can go back to your favourite routes from the core and uh, do, do, do them again. Yeah, exactly. I do have some details somewhere about exactly what is included, which I will share with everybody when I'm... Yeah more confident I won't overshoot again. So not not this stream then? Yeah, so not this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> is, is, this, is this payback for the other they week? Weren't even, they weren't even warning shots. <laughs> <laughs> Someone came to the stream sassy tonight. Oh yes. <laughs> <clears throat> We don't have a date for um, the updates uh, for Peninsula Corridor yet. In fact, Peninsula Corridor, uh, I said in the update that uh, Adam was going to review the feedback of uh, from QA. That one needs another round of fixes uh, from yeah. Adam's team. So that one is um, is back in with Adam for working. Um, but good news is a, a few of them have actually um, uh, have come through and don't need further fixes. So they're looking better. So um, that doesn't mean they're quite ready for release yet, but it means they're much closer. So we're getting there. We'll just try and keep you updated as things move along. Um, uh, had a good meeting um, today, actually, where we started, you know, uh, working out how we accelerate getting things through. So hopefully, in the not too distant future, you'll start seeing the fruits of that. Yes. Yeah. Well, the sooner the sooner it gets sorted, the less I have to nag you. This is my main motivator. <laughs> I need to break. No, not till you're in the platform. Just make sure you're oh, not look on at power. The speed limit's coming down to 25. Oh, you see, I can't see speed limits. I've got our ugly mugs in the way. Oh, yeah, you do. Do you want me to move our faces to the other side? No, they're fine. Do it, do it next time you're coming. Yeah, do it now while we're coming into a station. What, move the faces? Nothing, nothing can go wrong if you do it while you're trying to park the train. Wow, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to stick to my method that works. Just use the wire in the UKs. 
Yeah, well, that, I didn't know which keys it was, so I was looking You've, to see which one did what, left. and then... Wife for left, you for right. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Jason, that was Jason. You totally she squarely get blamed, blamed that you. That you, you. You are you. absolutely that... taking the fall for that one, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Press you, lock your doors. Look, I said we were going to have a bit of fun tonight, so there you go. Watching me be absolutely okay. incompetent has got to this be This is the bit point, you know, playing this game is fun. Yep. Fabian thinks there might have been a bit of an overshoot there, but not 100% sure. I, it's, it's difficult to tell, smidge, isn't it, really? Let's get the tape measure out and find out. Yeah. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that actually wasn't that bad. That was a good stop. That's fine. Do I need lessons in driving a train? I mean, after all this time, I'm not you know, sure how much better I'm You've got to remember get. the Nats won two of the four ups, so... <laughs> Actually... Is it two you've won now? Yes, it's two I've won, and I'm currently, I'm currently the reigning champion, so... Yeah. What does that say about the rest of you <laughs> when I can't stop in a station? <laughs> well, you know, it's all score, and I drive it properly, and the scoring doesn't really rate driving it properly, so bah humbug. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> if we wanted to be serious, then the prof would be pleasing us with PowerPoint. Ooh, oh, yeah, actually. That's a nice bit of alliteration. Yeah. Is Nat Sam in disguise? I mean, it certainly feels like it right now, doesn't it? <laughs> we know, because you're not in orbit. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Here we go. I would like uh, Londo Spark completely. <clears throat> Jason says, just for that, you left the gauge lights off. Oof. Was I supposed to... Come on, there's criticism in this. Was I supposed to put the lights on? Ouch. Where are my lights? Press I. Oh, it's, it's one of those weird buttons on the right-hand side control desk. But or, or you could press I. There oh, you go. I want to know where the button is now, though. It's one of the flip switches. Yeah, we'll find it in a minute. Little, when... The little ones. Well, you should probably put the passenger lights on, actually, yeah. Well, I was trying to... That's a good shout. Are they all it's... sat in the dark? They're all sat in the dark. Oops. Okay, hold on. We'll get going. And then I'll put all the lights on. Which ones are the lights? Where are they? It's the uh, red one. That's it. Saloon lighting Wait. and heating. Oh, uh, that one. No. The red one. I, I touched the button. There you go. Button. I, I, do you know what? what a stupid idea. I was like, let's get going and then do the lights. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. In the dark. <laughs> are you going to model Nebworth in TSW2? Um, I'm not sure there's a point, to be honest, because like, not like any trains ever stop at Nebworth, so... It's, this is what my belief is, and I, I will stand by that. <clears throat> Nebworth's on the East Coast Main Line, and uh, it'd be lovely to do the East Coast Main Line at some point. Yeah. Obviously with Deltix and Valenta HSTs and the like, not modern plasticky things. No one wants an Azubra. Everyone wants a nice bed, they'll take. Beautiful stop, that one. Hey, you got a rail fan on the uh, on the platform. Do I? Mm. Wait, was, was, is she in my blind spot? He is. Um, they, because uh, we don't know, do we? Oh, yeah, no, we don't know. Wait, um, are uh, right there yeah. behind oh, that, that pillar. Okay. There you go, it's look. got a flash. Yeah. This is the Jeez. gameplay team being just a bit awesome. Yeah, no, I like that. Do I do, do the thing? Let me go. Why won't you let me go? What did I do? Oh, no. I was being impatient. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> because you stood up, essentially, it releases. It, the, does uh, it have a strop when you stand up? When you stand up, it releases the handle and all the brakes start discharging. Right, gotcha. Can the Battle of Nebworth be modelled in... Oh, that was brilliant. I set up this bot using Twitch chat on MS... Oh, oh not on MS, it's on TS1. Yes. And the idea is that um, people could type um, commands to drive the train. So I set it up with the Flying Scotsman, I think it was, or one of the one of the, one of the green steam engines, mm -hmm. on the he's starting at King's Cross, and essentially they would like literally type like throttle space 100, and it would set the throttle of my train to 100. percent 
and so everybody was driving the train using Twitch. It was my thing, my Twitch plays train sim mod that I wrote. Um, right. And when we came, as we started approaching Nebworth, the chat just without any planning at all, at least any planning that I'm aware of, divided themselves into two teams. One who was fighting to stop the train at Nebworth, and one that was fighting to keep the train going. That's and amazing. It was <laughs> absolutely crazy. It was hysterical. Look. Absolutely brilliant. And um, I think the stoppers won, didn't they? I'm sure that we got the, the train stopped for some strange That's reason That's fantastic. <laughs> Matt, you encouraged it. Did I? No, I can't believe that. that yeah, doesn't it doesn't sound like good. anything you would do. <laughs> <laughs> the video's still up on YouTube if you go find it. Someone wants to go and find it. It's there. It's really funny. That does sound hilarious. I was really amazed, actually. Twitch Plays Train Sim, you, in almost all cases, worked. You know, you'd think if you gave the control of a train to 100 people, that it would just be utter chaos and your train wouldn't get anywhere. But we stopped at the stations, the doors were opened, That's and we amazing. made it to the end, you know. And they generally kept within the speed, probably actually better than I did, to be fair, you know. The quality of driving was notably superior when a hundred people were randomly spamming the chat. Um, Chris Place has just asked, will the PIS board on Colnachan be fixed? Uh, yes, they're going to be looked at, aren't they? Um, I think Adam's be Adam's been uh, has got that on his list. Yes. Yeah. So for anybody that's not sure, um, last week we put out an update, and there were changes made to the PIS boards on Colm. Um, these were unintentional, and that update shouldn't have been pushed out when it was because it wasn't complete. Um, so you will find that there are some inaccuracies. Um, with the PIS boards. Um, I will get Adam to talk in detail about it on Tuesday, um, about exactly what's happened. Um, but, but just be aware that they will get looked at. Do you? Where's he going? Oh, turn around. Getting his exercise in, he's got a bulky yeah. steps up. I see. Alright. Okay. Alright. Uh, baby, they do add a fair bit of immersion mm -hmm. to what's going on in the environment. But I mean, I must admit, initially I was I wasn't sold on PIS, but um, I, I miss it. I mean, it's not when I drive routes that don't have it now. So um, I, uh, I I acknowledge that I was wrong in the past on that one. However, I remain convinced toilets do not offer much benefit to the game. Okay. William has asked Natalie what's it like to drive the expansion pack. Well, this is actually my first time driving it. Um, I'm giving it a go and currently I'm doing a stellar job um, but it is actually quite fun um, doing something new it is it is there's some interesting um, stuff I I'm quite keen to look at uh, I haven't looked at the scenarios yet on Colm there's uh, I know from the designs that were spec'd out there which uh, Lucas actually helped me with um, I coming up with some good ideas there so there should be some interesting stuff in the scenarios so have you done uh, any of the scenarios on stream or have you just done services we've only done services on stream for that one uh, should we have Colm, a look so. at one of the scenarios tonight then sure might as well do something we haven't done before yep if you want to be immersed in toilets just a hillbilly just saying that's up to you <laughs> on your own time mate <clears throat> I love this room, I really do. Graphic, it's just one of the nice things about it because it's all underground, it's all light -like, the You know, it's just the uh, you get such great lighting in the underground mm -hmm. areas because it's because it's static lighting rather than the overground areas where it's dynamic, um, which is um, more flexible, but is uh, is never as going to give as good of an effect as the uh, as the static lighting does. So. It's like on rapid transit, my favourite through my favourite stations are all the underground section. 
Um, Do you just like underground reason. stuff, yeah? No, I just like stuff that looks awesome. <laughs> and German trains. So you need a German underground route, really? Interesting. That was not a hint that anything's coming. That was merely just chat for anybody tries speculating. <laughs> no plans to make underground no routes plans. for a while, it's to be said. <laughs> this route proved they are hard to make. When you're getting PIS and Great Western Express, I know that's one. I think that's one of the ones Adam's done and, and is uh, in the uh, in the queue. The 166 has been updated as well with um, destination boards. So Adam's team has been going crazy, doing all sorts of really cool stuff. I'll see if I can get him to show off some of it on mm -hmm. Tuesday. At least the stuff that we know has gone through testing and done a first pass. Yeah. Um, get him to show some nice, nice stuff. Pump car. We need, we need a pump car in this. Totally, Liam. Pump um, car was awesome. Minimax asked, is there a potential for future expansions to other existing routes? Anything's possible. Yes. By all means, go to the suggestions yes. um, and um, uh, and tell us what you'd like to see. And to be honest, telling us how you feel about this pack will really help um, yeah. with any of that decision making for the future. So, if well, you, you know, like not it, just ooh, in particular yeah. what you like or what you don't like about it, rather than just a simple yes or no. Yeah. If you can sort of say, oh, my favourite bits were this, this, and this. Not so bothered about this. You know. Yeah. Um, what about doing this on this route and so forth? You know, love that sort of feedback. Yeah. Butchered that one. Semen, uh, I'm guessing you've got a problem uh, with London Commuter. Um, if you want to message me on the forums and just outline what your issue is, I'll uh, get someone to look into it. Mm -hmm. I'll steal my PS4 back off my daughter and I'll replay them myself. Josh Vaughan said, I certainly like the lower price on the pack. I haven't had a chance to play it. Yeah, I, I think the price was quite well received. Uh, Trash Panda says, if you haven't played the core routes in a while, it'd be nice to give them a go again. Give them some love. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of the not, one of the things that I liked about this when we started looking at the, um, thinking about this pack, was just like, actually, it's really, it's really nice going mm -hmm. back to these routes and look at because Sandpat's great. You kind of forget just how great it looks uh, oh, yeah. because it was route one it was the very first route released on train sim world it got a big update as part of train sim world 2 yeah um and it's still you know it still stands up really well on the um uh, on its own so uh, you know it's really good this is a, a really good opportunity to go back and re you know re-enjoy the stuff that was in the core of train sim world 2 again i think it's pretty good as well if um you're new to Train Sim World 2 and you've only really had a chance to play the core and you're not quite ready to to get a DLC but you still want a little bit more. Um, this can just bulk up. This can be your, mm. your first your first add-on. Yeah. Adam says he wants to put the uh, Sherman shipping containers on San Pasquale. Totally agree, Luke. Yeah. Adam, totally agree. Are we talking about the many, many containers? The, all the colours, the varieties, the brilliant, the, the branded containers. Yeah. Looks so good on Sherman Hill. See, I think I'm getting the hang of the breaking on this now. You're doing well now, yeah, yeah. spot on. It's been a while since I've driven on stream as well, like doing a let's play and like trying to drive the train and read the chat. I, it is quite hard, especially considering I'm not exactly an expert um, at driving trains. So it's just one second I'm not paying attention and I do something wrong. Uh, 
No, it does. It does. It does. You need to kind of get back into the swing of the, uh, of when to pay attention to the game versus when it's good yeah. to look at the chat and. Exactly. You know, and then there's always that moment where you get it wrong and. And it's fly hilarious. through a station. Yep. Uh, is this view the same way the engineer sees it in real life? Can't see anything. Wouldn't the train's light illuminate the darkest portion of the tunnel? So to some extent, um, yes and no, essentially, is the answer to that. So in reality, the lights would... Um, um, your, your eyes, sorry, not the lights, your eyes would adjust better than they're, they're doing mm. so in the game. There's not really any eye adaption in the game. Uh, it's not war, it's not been set up um, to work the way it needs to. So um, your eyes aren't adjusting to the dark, but the reality is, and we have a uh, an underground driver on the beta team, it is really dark, really, really dark in the tunnels. And the train lights really don't light up very much because they don't need to. Yeah. There's nothing down there, there's nothing to see. And all the videos you see on YouTube um, are... Um, they've got the lights turned on in the tunnels or they've got and literally got a big old lamp on the front of the train because who wants to record a video of darkness so they, they light it all up yeah it's um so this is reminiscent you'll see it's lighting up a fair bit of the you know a chunk of the tunnel in front of you but the lights don't work that far back on these things if you look at them there's no, there's no, they're not particularly big lights so um yeah this is pretty close to what you see in the tunnel as far as i'm aware Uh, Roy Henderson, this is Bakerloo Line. Yeah. Uh, seven fast lane scenario having trouble with the PS4. Right, okay, I'll make a note of that and I'll get someone to try that. Literally going to send him a message now so it's ready for him in the morning. Have you spoken about the crashing issues yet? I haven't. Um, well, I think about it because um, you're talking. About someone's having performance issues. Can, can you can you talk about? We've made a bit of progress with the crashing stuff, haven't we? Yes, we have. So um, there is just a, a quick sort of update from the start. We've had a we've got a thread running on the forums um, because uh, I want to. Um, um, I want to really just get this nailed. It's just, just it's going on too long. Yep. So, um, so we have been, we've been getting lots of really good um, reports, and I'm trying to work. Actually, part of the job is trying to work out how what, what constitutes a, a good enough report to be able to reproduce the crashes. Yep. So we spent a bunch of time with the engineering team, the QA team, trying to report the crashes, um, and. Um, you know, th you get a bug report along the lines of every time I drive into London, Victoria, it crashes. Yeah. Routes unplayable. Um, and so and that feels like something that you could test quite straightforward. Um, but then every time they tested it, it didn't crash. And it's just like, right. okay, this is really frustrating because for us, the game is 100% reliable and players are implying it's 100% you know, unreliable. Yeah. And so how do you deal with that? So this is why the thread has been sort of has, has been sort of like, okay, we need your help to try and reproduce this. There's clearly more going on here than we're immediately seeing. So getting some really great feedback from that, and there's a number of learnings that we figured out um, and directions for further investigation the engineering team are looking into. For example, every train you drive into London Victoria on a Series S crashing is not true. Um, seems to be every other time though which implies something's not getting cleared up from session to session. So that's one of the areas the yeah, engineering team are investigating at the minute. So um, that's good to know. That's good to find out. Um, and gives them a really positive, a relatively easy, straight, uh, easy place to start digging. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the other things we've seen actually of PC crashes is um, a report, an error message that comes up in the, in the Unreal crash, uh, crash tool that says retry was not successful. Or retry was, yeah, retry was not successful. I think is the phrase that it uses in the crash reporter, um, and that turns out to be corrupted files. Uh, so okay. basically, the Steam downloader hasn't quite got it right for whatever reason, and you've got bad files. And there's not really a lot we can do about that. The mm -hmm. files are corrupt. The files are corrupt. The fix is to do a verify local file, local files, and that seems to cure it. So um, if you get a crash of um, um, this retry was not successful 
then um, you can um, you can just do a verify files, and then you should be back up and running again. So, or if you're going to do a long journey, you know, you're going to go spend a bunch of time in the game, or do some scenarios that are longer, do a verify before you start, just in case there's been an update since the last time you did, just to make sure. Because the last thing you want to do is get an hour into a two-hour job and find that it's crashing. So um, now, what's causing that, Matt? How come it's um, how come it's happening in the first place? Is that an us problem? Like, is it something we've done that's broken it? Not that I'm aware of, no. It's it's purely down to something with um, the Steam patching algorithm or something. I need to have a conversation with Steam to find out, is there something we can do to make it less likely to happen? Or is there something we're doing which is making it happen? But it's purely a uh, patching system on Steam and how it's downloading the files or something there means that the uh, end users are ending up with a, uh, a file which has got a problem. Uh, and literally the, the crash happens when it tries to look inside that dot, one of the .pak files and finds that um, you know it's asking for a particular file from that um, from that storage file, um, and um, it just get, it crashes because that area is found to be broken, um, and there's nothing you can do about it at that point except crash. So the key phrase you're looking for for crashes, this is on PC only, is retry was not successful. If that comes up, do a verify local files, and it almost always I've seen so far fixes it. Now that's obviously just one instance where we've seen some progress. Um, yeah. And that's certainly not fixed all of the crash issues. No, 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 no. no. It's uh. crashes were always are, ne are never going to be one thing. There's there are a number of different things that cause crashes, and that's one of the complexities of figuring out and trying to get good repros for them. Um, rather, than, and you can't make any assumptions about when you're trying to do a crash repro either, because it could be down to how you drive the train. It could be the difference between an Xbox One and an Xbox One S, yep. which is virtually nothing, but it is different could be the difference between you know, that's causing a problem with the crash now that doesn't mean that it doesn't get fixed that's it's not about finding a sort of finding a reason to not go forward but once we can find and cause find the crash uh, the crash um then uh, we've got a much better chance of going in and working out oh actually it's this we can go and change that now we can't do that if there's corrupted files in that other case but if the files are all okay and it's just not handling something properly on a particular um environment then we can go in and we can fix that but we have to be able to reproduce it first um, so it's, le it's less even about having the crash dump files because um, they don't always tell us everything we need to do. We need to know about a particular setup. So actually, how you report the crash, what you were doing, and so on and so forth, is really the um, oh. the sort of the the crux of it. There. Oh, this is shut down cab. Ooh, part of the scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Got excited. Right, hold on. How do we do the How do we do the thing? No, no, that's not what I want to do. No. No, 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 I'm gonna spot, I'm gonna spot, I'm gonna spot. I panicked. What was that? I panicked. <coughs> I went forwards instead of backwards. And, and, and uh, totally panicked. Right. How do I put it into shutdown? Which one's shutdown? How do we do it? All the way off past emergency. Oh, past emergency. Oh, there we go. That's it. I think I scared myself a little bit. So yeah, was... this is a scenario with from the new expansion pack, and there are uh, train spotters on the platforms taking pictures. Um, move it. So if you're doing this, don't do what I just did and go forwards and panic. Uh, okay, let's let's stand up and crack down. No, nope, you're not going to let me do it. Right. Can't see it properly. Off. And then, there we go. I'm, I'm sat in the driver's seat. Set. Let's change ends. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Sit in the other driver's seat. It didn't specify which driver's seat. <laughs> this is true, it doesn't, but it does actually. There's, actually a, there's a whole like indicator there telling you to put the We're other gonna seat. We're going to go on the outside just so we can see how pretty the train is. It is nice. I do quite like the silver livery. Okay. Hello, people. Actually, I'm thinking about it. Now might actually be a good time to try something else before switching ends. Should we, should we yeah. try it? Yeah, go for it. There you go, Ryan. I didn't it's bad. And I assume you just go back the way you come from, from this point. Uh, have a quick check on your instructions, but I suspect it just takes you back to uh, Queen's Park, yeah. How does one get their instructions? Press escape. And go to the schedule tab. Okay. Yeah, so you change... 
change cabs, set up the cab. And then you go back to Queen's Bar. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, let's go to the main menu. What, what do you want to do now? Do you want to do some German or something American? Let's do something German. Let's do something German. Uh, Melbourne Railways, we don't have any uh, dates or anything to share about uh, Steam at this point. When we do, we'll certainly let you know. Right. And did we say we were going to do a scenario, a German scenario? Yes, we did. Yeah, let's have a look at the scenarios. I can't Which remember. Which one's the new ones? Now. Do you know? Keep looking around. They'll, they'll have pictures of the 423 on the, uh, on the uh, thumbnail. Duren Duren is one of them. 423, yeah. That one's only 30 so that's, minutes. So that's Duren, Duren to... Um, Oh, Horum to Durham, Chains Ends and back to Horum again. We're not so. doing that one because it has level 4 out of 5 difficulty and just... Oh, no. Snowblind is quite fun though. I, well, I haven't done it, but it's supposed to be. Basically, it's um, Cone out to a certain station, then you have to use a turn back junction to be able to go back the other way again. Maybe do Duren Duren. Yeah. I mean, we could, do we, which one? It's, I mean, we could try the difficult one, but just, you know, I'll let the chat decide. If I'm doing the difficult one, you can decide. But bear in mind, I might not complete it. It's also in a snowstorm, so you won't see a whole lot. Oh, uh, you know Yeah, no, let's do the one that's not the snowstorm. Chat can enjoy the snowstorm. I'm going to save a prayer for hoping you get this right. Wait, I could get it wrong? How wrong? Well, we'll see. Do you want challenge accepted? We're doing this. All she wants is to get it right, folks. Yeah. Chat, please help me. Um, make sure I don't get it wrong. You see a red light, you scream in the chat. Of course, Nat is notorious for, uh, for her stops. Okay. People will catch on in a minute. What the? Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's just which, which one we're doing the rest. <laughs> I think Bug Eye got it. <laughs> uh, You'll help me, right, chap? So did Calador. Nice. At least some people got it. I do like the 423, it's a lovely unit. Are you being mean? What you should be asking is, is there something I should know? I feel like there's probably something I should know. <laughs> but, I, but, uh, but you're sassy tonight. I don't think you'd tell me even if there was. No, I'm just... everything. Most of what I've said recently have been Duran Duran song titles. Save a prayer is a song. I am not turning on safety systems. Chicken. Yes. Yes, absolute chicken. I see three hype. I tell you what, Liam. Pressing Control Enter right now would be a bad thing. Um, that was a warning to reduce to 80 kilometres now. By the way, just saying. Wait, there was a warning. Yeah, on that signal. You want we're to hit fine. the we're platform? Fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're yeah, absolutely fine. fine. And you can hit the platform end at 60 kilometers an hour. There you go. This is where the 80 starts. You see the 8 on the top of the signal in white. I'm going to be honest, I completely missed the signal. 
the signals on him. <laughs> signals aren't important, you don't have to. Did, did you see the A? Um, you should be asking, did you see the signal? <laughs> <laughs> did you see the signal? It was red. <laughs> Once you get the hang of it, this train breaks fairly well. Like I said, train boy, you can come into the platforms at 60 kilometers an hour and still end, you know, comfortably where you're supposed to be. I feel like I've just gone from a train that breaks really quickly to one that does not. You assume I can get it down to 60 before the platform. Fair point, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> PZB would break you quickly, yeah, indeed, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> now, the 423 is notorious for not having great breaks. The but real one is. I mean, you could have told me this, but no, it's a like. <laughs> Wait, well, you're supposed to see the signals. Nah, just ignore them, just to help with the only hits. I, I, I genuinely couldn't even tell you where they were on the track. No, not a clue. What you have to do is like, you know, do you remember like the little Simon Says machines? Yes. Um, what it is is that at the end of the journey, you ring up the dispatcher and you have to read out red, 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 green, green, yellow, red, yellow, green. Did I get it right? <laughs> Mod Derek said operate the 423 like you stole it. Yes. That's how I drive it. Full throttle forward, full brakes. Full throttle exactly. forward, full brakes. I mean, it is pretty fun when you do it like that. I recognise that that's not the way you're supposed to drive trains, but it is the fun way to drive trains. At least for me. Some of them, that's what they do, because the electronics in the train manage the acceleration rate and the deceleration rate, and you're basically just saying, give it all the speed ups, please. Pure is next. Stream bot has had a meltdown. No. Has, it, has it actually? I'll just log in and it's probably um, timed out or something. Uh, is, it, is it YouTube not showing up? <sighs> oh, yeah, it is. I can see it. I can see it on the. It's, YouTube's not connected for some reason. Sassing me as well, and I don't know. Yeah, no, that that's also a possibility. David Malini says I'm on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. And I can see you now. I can't. Why well, likes the cloud movement? Can you give Restream a bit of a nudge? Well, I, I, I logged into Restream. Um, they've changed the UI, and they're completely confusing me about it. How, how I get? Yeah, you've got like the little squares. Bottom, they say something like edit destination or something there we along go. those lines. Yeah, YouTube is showing up as online. Oh, it's just having a melt there. We go into chat. I guess you're just going to have to talk on behalf of the YouTube folk. And. No, I just typed a message in and it's. Uh, yeah, it's Twitch only. It's, it's not appeared on the, um, on the YouTube chat, so. How bizarre. Yep, yeah, it's clearly unhappy. So I'll keep an eye on the uh, on the chat on YouTube. I appreciate oh dear, that red light's quicker than I earlier than I thought. We're fine. Chat help. Twitch have got my back as well. Has Nat sassed Restream too much tonight? Possibly. I haven't been the sassy one tonight. <laughs> There's some really good titles of Duran Duran songs that are totally appropriate, like um, Girl Panic and My Own Way. No, I know Hold them, back I just. The rain. Just didn't compute. 
Or when YouTube are no longer uh, being restreamed, anyone out there? Do you know what? That's probably what broke YouTube, your dad jokes. <laughs> the entire of YouTube broken. YouTube, I've just got, do you know what? I'm out. That's it, we're done, you know. <laughs> Stoney can't wait until I try and teach Nat how to handle a steam train. Uh, I have to get Jamie to do it. Because he's actually he's actually driven. He would actually be helpful. Oi! <laughs> Ow! I can give sass too. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, I'm saying, I'd implying I'd lead you astray. I mean, I feel like you would get some kind of joy out of me blowing up the engine. Yeah, not that I've, I've never done that on mm, one of my streams, yeah, you've ever. you've never done that. Ever. I've not, not seen that footage. Nope, it's never happened. It was a lie. <laughs> do I have to do anything or do I just have to be patient here? You just have to be patient here. You're okay. going to be waiting for something, I guess. Sure, um, look out, look out. Let's have a look on the map. Okay. Okay, I don't see anything at the moment. Like Jamie just... won't blow it up, Liam. Jamie will just get stalled on a hill. Okay, how do we look at the map? Nine? Number nine. I always forget. Right, which, which directions are going to be in this one? <clears throat> I see nothing. It's got to be a better way to do it. So why is it not letting you in there, then? Because it doesn't like me. Wait, what's that? Is that moving? Isn't that behind me? That's you. Is that me? No. Oh, yeah, that is me. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Showing off my intelligence tonight. Okay, there is nothing obstructing me. It just doesn't like me. All right. Go back there and press tab. Let's go back. Oh. Oh, it's green! You have to. It's just gone green. Wow. Okay, I'm going to look in to find out what's going on there. Yeah, I would like sense. to know why I oh, just Oh, it's thought... probably because there's a train way beyond it. But this, this section is enormous. Okay. This section is ridiculous because there's no state signal at the, at the station. It's insane. Interesting. I remember when I, when I, because I did, I did the original um, s bahn services on this route, and I just I remember thinking, wow, this is, um, this is not intended for high capacity. Apparently, the signal's that far apart. Apparently, not recognizing that that was myself on the mark is quite funny. <laughs> uh, does the AI automatically take over the train if you don't acknowledge the warning? No. No, I won't leave you. If you if the thing that I mean the thing that pops up and says, um, you know, do you want to let go of this train? Um, we'll just sit there. Uh, it, uh, until you press yes or no. It won't automatically lose you the train. Did you put this red in for no, I didn't write the scenario earlier. I feel like you did. No, it's just there's a long block here is all. It's fine. Why is Matt's mic so weird? My microphone weird? Is that the same for It has else? actually, to be fair, your microphone has actually just gone weird. You were How fine, odd. and now you sound a bit like the microphone's coming from the... Your voice is coming from somewhere else. Hmm. Even I can hear it. Let me have a look at the Teams and see if Teams has just decided, you know what, your webcam might be better for this job. Nope, it's not. It's using this. How odd. How odd. It, it is definitely Number coming three. through differently than it was a minute ago. <laughs> microphone went to phone quality. Oh, okay. Maybe it has is... actually. Yeah, that's how I'd describe it. But then, oh, YouTube's back. Hi, YouTube. Hey, we stream bots figured it out. I can see everybody again. That was almost a good stop. <laughs> wow. 
I mean, for me, let's be honest, that's that's I've done much worse than that. Wait in. Okay, lock the door. I was having a problem on my stream where the microphone kept resetting. So after every, like every two minutes, the microphone would stop working, and I have to switch to a different microphone. So I was literally cycling around three different microphones over yeah, and over and over again. Yeah, you told me this, like just, just so like, everybody could hear you. This is you. only marginally annoying. <laughs> I think you need to find out what's going on with your microphones. Yeah. It was heaven, thanks, Boogie. <laughs> Can always rely on Boogie. Wipers, but you want Let's have some horn action. Room. Yes, you can, because you're on YouTube and you asked for it. I'm from YouTube. And I saw it. There you go. Tell us something about Lisa and Cersei. It has a trouble. It is Swiss. You're really quiet, I'm gonna need you to speak up, I'm afraid. Really? Yeah. Okay. Wait, tap I'll the microphone. Out. No, it's, yeah, it's coming out of that one. Yeah. Yeah, I just checked. I don't know why I'm suddenly going really. Every now and again, to me, other teams, you're going really silent. Maybe Teams is just having a bit of a. I think wobbler. Teams is having a turn. Big surprise. Um, Never happens. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to need you to use your, your, your big voice. Okie doke. They have got this noise suppression nonsense on, so maybe we should try turning that off. Maybe it's considering my voice to be noise, which is rude, but... <laughs> Liam asked, can I tell Matt off when he's streaming on his own, but only as a concerned friend? I mean, I have no jurisdiction on his own channel, I'm afraid. He's allowed to do whatever he likes over there. It is free reign. I can judge him the next day when he's tired, but that's about it. And she will. And she I will. I will. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll get a team score and then I'll be... So how was the stream last night? It was quite long, wasn't it? Should be shorter next time. Should we tell them how I'm currently trying to lead you into a false sense of security? Yeah. So I keep on calling Matt um, during the week for really random things, just like the occasional chat, so that when I need to ring him to tell him off, he'll just pick up thinking it's a nice chat, when actually I'm ringing him to tell him off. And you know what? I'm assuming it's all being done, but I'm being told off, and I just get pleasantly surprised when I'm you not. <laughs> You see that's my cowering face when I answer the things like Okay, what have you got to say? Oh, it's just a nice chat. Oh, okay, if you are, relax. <laughs> sees, sees my name pop up and twitches. Oh no! Okay, now everyone's voice is fading. <laughs> you, they're lying. You've got to be lying, right? You, you can't, it can't seriously be. Hold on, we're pausing. We're going to find out what on earth is going on there. Talk for me, Matt. Hello, testing one, two, three. It is testing coming one, two, through three. on OBS. Fine, it's got to be Teams that's misbehaving. Go into Teams and to device settings and turn off noise suppression. I don't think I even have it activated. Teams. Um, what do we want? Devices. Uh, device settings. Just like you click the three. Go to our chat. Yeah, hold on. Where we are, the call, and in the top there's a three dots button. Click that. Yeah. Go to device settings. Where you would choose whether you want to use mic which microphone you want to use, etc. And there's a noise suppression option in there. Yeah, I don't have noise suppression activated. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good day. Yeah, sorry folks, there's not really a lot we can do about this. Um, it seems to be, it seems to be Teams is just misbehaving because you just came through like a robot there. That's just my normal voice to be fair. Ah, yes. It might be the wind, obviously. 
Oh, it could... No. Shh, go with it. It's the wind. <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate it's annoying when the sound um, misbehaves. Deltic killed the, re the Electra Star, is that what you said, Boggy? Get out. <laughs> I can't time... see an attenuation sitting train boy. Last time you made dad jokes, you broke YouTube. No, I have no idea why it's uh, why it's quiet. I appreciate you telling me about the red light that I paid no attention to a second ago. It's only a red light because you're stopping here and then you change ends and go back the other way again. Oh, well, should, do, should we do the thing again where, where, where instead of going back the other way, we do another part of the, the pack? Yeah. I'm going to leave everybody, like, wishing that we finished something and we didn't, you know, like that real sense of... You're all going to have to play it now, just to yeah, get closure. Yeah, just, yeah, exactly. Hello. The sock just inflated. Oh, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> that was painful. Entirely intentional. Anyone could stop, you know, appropriately far away from the red light, but it takes a special kind of genius to stop right on the red light. Well, exactly. I would like to see somebody else, you know. All right, I'm gonna go to the other side just because I want to do the walk, and then let's see what's on the other side, and then we'll go do another one. Ooh. Everybody's going to be on the other side of their seat. Matt, are you streaming Friday? Yes. Which channel? On your personal one? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, there we go. Right, over to the next one. We're doing some American stuff. Nice. Nice. 
you fancy doing on uh, Sand Patch Grade then? Didn't you say we should do some shunting? I think we should. Especially since Sam's roped you into a bit of shunting. Oh uh, yeah, Sam has roped me into a bit of shunting, so it's probably good if I practice. <laughs> Whichever channel he doesn't get told off on. <laughs> <laughs> I get told off by viewers, so it doesn't oh! really matter. Your voice, it's just come back. My voice has come back, yeah. Yeah. That was weird. Now, you see, the app chat just said you just came back. You've just, it's literally, it's like a switch went off. You've just, you just sound normal again. How bizarre. <laughs> All right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Moggy, get, go, go ride a 319. <laughs> yeah, you sound great again. Right, uh, timetable. It's timetable, right? Yeah, go timetable. Uh, which one am I clicking on? If you want to find the, the Clinchfield, the CRR SD40, go back one. I don't know how to go back to that, really. Mouse, mouse wheel up and down. And then when you get to the Clinchfield SD40, use the livery selector, the Q this one? thing in the bottom left. No, it's the SD40 CRR, it's a black one. Oh, that one? Yeah, then use the livery selector. Gotcha. And then. Which one are we doing? The CSX, uh, the, uh, that one, the CSX-S. Okay, what is the difference between this one and this one? Because I, I cannot see the difference. I'm not sure what's going on there. I think he always got a little bit confused because the CRR one's the black one. So um, I will find out what's going on there. But say, you want the CSX. Look identical. I know the pictures have got a bit confused. The title, it tells you want the other one. Yeah, so wait, if I click on the other one. Oh yeah, look, it has got confused. Okay, we'll do this one. one for... Alright, which thing is shunting? The ones that begin with a Y are oh, yard switcher ones. So if, actually, if you just go into the search thing at the top, click where it says search. Y. And do search for Y1. Y1. Alright. And that's all the switching ones. Uh, so let's do uh, bowl switching. Just do Y102. Yep. Just do a bit of it. Nice. Why one what? Why not one? Oh my gosh, the dad jokes tonight are strong. <laughs> that was why your microphone broke. First you broke YouTube, then you broke your broke microphone. Broke YouTube, then the microphone. Keep it up and stream will crash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this will be started and ready to go. Uh, right, so in order to get going on this, you need to uh, pop up the three switches on the front of the um, desk, on the front of the stand. So look at um, those, those three switches, yep. They will need pop switching to on. That's the control on fuel pump, generator field, and the uh, engine run. And then pop your headlights on, the uh, dial at the bottom of that bit of the stand. Uh, considering my headlights, right, That's right it. front or medium front? Right front, why not? Um, and then um, put the reverser in. So you have to go where the reverser would be, and she's underneath the throttle. Um, and oh, there's the throttle. Below the throttle, there should be a re insert reverser. Oh, there. Uh, you click it and then push it forward. Yeah. Um, and now uh, look back towards your brakes, uh, the, the big red and the big black handle behind yep. you. Um, on the the stand where the red handle is, there's like a little tiny twist um, valve. Um, the cutoff valve. The cutoff valve. You're gonna put that in freight. Yep. And then it's very difficult to see this from where you're sitting, um, so that's great. But on the if you look at yeah. the bottom, you want the MU2A valve, which is right. Got that's it. it. Put that on lead. Lead. That's wait, it. The, wait, it's, it's lead. Uh, is that that or dead? Lead or dead. Yeah. Lead or dead. Lead or dead. That's it. Now nice. you can. Uh, now you should be able to um, the gauge lights, which is the white the uh, the white switch on it that's sitting on there on its own. Got it. Uh, you yeah. know, some and of then... this you might have noticed is coming back to me. <laughs> and she then says. Um, the, one of the things that's cool about this train versus the other SD40 is instead of having separate dynamic brake handle and throttle handle, it's, it's all done in the one hand. You use the selector switch to choose what it does. So you, what you're going to need to use is the selector switch to um, put it into and set the selector switch to one. So push it uh, over to so, so you get a one. Well, that's isn't, B. That's, there is no one. Put it to put it to the right. 
Which is off. Release it. Yeah. Alright, release it and then do it uh... again. That's it, now it's one. That's good enough. Right, now the throttle, the power is engaged. Release both your brakes. Um, and then let's just check the map and make sure the path Released. wherever you need to go is. Released. Released. That's it. And, and now check your map. Follow the blue line and make sure all the switches are set for correctly for where you need to go. Because I learned the hard way last time. <laughs> <laughs> right, which way am I going? This way. This way? So you're, 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 no, you're following the light blue line. So I'm you see where you're too low. Yeah, see where your two locos are. Does that mean that so needs you're... moving? Yeah, you're... yeah, exactly. So that's fine. Just keep... leave As long as the switches are lined up with the blue path, you're fine. I'm so confused. Just click on it. If you just, sorry, hover over each switch, it, it changes colour. Yeah. And you can see the thing. Just make sure it follows the blue line, which it is. They all look like they're fine so far. Keep going. But, oh, I see. I see. Right, so that one needs moving. That's correct, that needs moving. Got it. That's it. Now you're lined up to go to those that um, cut of cars. So now you can pull forward and uh, and do it. Now, technique for when you're driving. Um, <laughs> so it's just more exciting when you're already in motion. Yeah, totally. So the technique for when you're driving is um, apply power, get up to throttle to speed, and then cut your power and let it coast. And use the locomotive brake with square brackets to do the stopping because it's much quicker. Okay, let's see, it. let's see how this happens. Let's see how this goes. Adam, CJ, I have a select question about the 1 to 4 selector. What do the numbers represent? These days, not a lot. You just need to put it in 1. Um, back in the days when this loco was, um, we know, first launched, the 1 to, uh, I say first, when it first came out, the 1 to 4 um, controlled how many vehicles were operated. So if it was set to 2, then you and the one behind you would be powered up when you throttled up to two if I remember rightly um, and similar so that meant say for example there were four locos in a uh, couple together but you're just moving them around a yard so why have them all throttling up set it to one then when you throttle up only the lead one will, will work if you set it to two the front two power will power up when you apply power I am uh, going to need so to forth. interrupt you is it the automatic brake I'm using? no the independent brake how do I access the independent brake? square brackets I don't know which one square brackets is um there's the brackets in the square. Oh, there we go. The we ones got to it. the right. We got of... it. We got it. Right, we're going. Oh no! But yeah, these days, um, um, in, in, for, for quite a long time, they've effectively um, is it for controlling locomotive manual transitions. I think that's another part of the, that, Yeah, I might be getting confused about some of that stuff, Ross, you're right. Um, I think I'm, partly because the GP20 did it on uh, uh, TS1, and that used it to control how many locos it powered up. Um, but I know that um, in the case of the some of the other ones, um, it does, yeah, if you've got locos that are manual transition, then one, two, three, four, effectively is, is effectively on a series, parallel, weak field, and so forth. I don't think I'm this. Um, it's a little <laughs> Sorry, services in the chat, have you just seen what he's <laughs> Stuff. Uh, Matt, it's like, yes, I like trains too. <laughs> and I feel like that's really appropriate. <laughs> it is a number of locos on this one. Okay. Do I need to get out to make it do the thing? No, just keep coupling up to it. Wait, I have to keep going forward? Keep going forward. Oh, It'll auto, these are auto knuckles. You just have to bang into them and they'll auto couple together. Do it. There we go. Did it. Did it. Did it. Wait a moment. It's currently in the process of, um, it's got to recharge the brake pipe now, so it won't be, it'll be a minute before you can get moving. Wait, do I have to go to the different side now? Am I, am I the no, you just reverse. Okay. They, they don't change ends all the time when they're switching, because they're backwards and forwards all the time, so they'll just stay in the, in the one they're in. Let's do the old reversing. You won't be able to release the brakes yet, so just hang fire a minute. 
I, uh, oh dear, I went to the wrong part. Wait, how do I get the next door? It's just... So look at your brakes, where I'm saying the brakes aren't releasing yet. If you look at the BP, it's at 52 and it's, it's charging. That means that means right. your brakes aren't ready to release yet. So you just have to wait a minute while it finishes pumping the brakes up. What's happened there is that you've taken effectively a pumped up balloon, mm -hmm. which is the brakes on your system, and you've coupled them to a bunch of, un in, of empty balloons. Yeah. Right the brakes, and now all the air from the pumped up balloon has gone into the rest of the wagons. Got and so it. now it's pumping the whole thing back up again. So... What does it need to go up to before I can move? Um, probably about 80. Okay. Um, I have a question. Ni 90 is when it's fully recharged, but that doesn't necessarily need to be 90 to be able to get moving. And since you'll be using the independent brake to start and stop, it kind of doesn't matter if the, the wagons have been fully recharged. How come this one's like the nice colour, the new colour? it doesn't matter what that colour is, this is service mode, so it's just substituting things in. <clears throat> can you get two of that one? I think that can happen, yeah. So try releasing your independence and see if you can. Let's give it a There, once you've done that, you'll then need to use the map and then realign your path again, the same way we did in the first instruction. Okie okay, doke. To be fair, this is actually quite fun. I love switching. Great. Have I set the points for this move? Uh, no, probably not actually. You were stop stopping. Quickly and you, you shouldn't need to do a back forward again. Because the junction's just here. So use the map key, number nine, and then check your chip switches, yeah. Oh. Change that. That was a bit lucky. And the next one. Yeah, there we go. We're good, we're good. Just always follow. Before, basically, the general rule that you should follow is... Um, did that change? That's not changed, has No, it? I've just changed it. Because, look, see, it's going that way now. See? The other one. That one. It was going that way, and now it's going... Yeah, that switch is good, but the trailing switch needs to change as well. Which one? The second one away from you. That one? No, no, no not the one under you. The, that one. Oh, that, that one. one. There we yeah. go. I mean, you can force over trailing switches, but bad practice. Okay. Thank you to the chat for helping me. A bit. Yeah, basically, whenever you're in a yard, you want to basically just check your check your path before you ever make any move. Make sure the path junctions are set correctly for where you want to go. Um, then do the move. Then before you do the next one, check the junctions again and just keep doing it that way. It's a pattern. Train simulator driver said the realization phase. We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> At least the chat is helpful. Yes, that's very true. But you guys always look after. <clears throat> the 
there's ever a day where Steamboat New River New River train excursion can be modelled in TSW2, you'll have a blast watching the team attempting to run it. Nice. Where's the New River train? One thing I realised about, you know, how we're, we're making steam engines, right, is um, if I can get them moving, then anybody will be able to get them moving. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ah, to be honest, anybody will be able to get them moving. Driving steam trains is kind of like Tetris. You know, you can, it's easy to get started, but perfecting it will take time and practice. Mm -hmm. Did I actually... Did I stop as indicated? Right. So assume now is when you're supposed to look at the map and make Now you look at the map and yeah. to review your points, yeah. Is it going to be hard to get steam locomotive moving? No. Release the brakes, put the cutoff forwards, apply some regulator. The loco is now moving. I mean, the wheels, the wheels might be worse, they've been like crazy, and, but you know. They changed that one. I changed that, I changed that thing. I'm actually getting used to it. Does that one need moving as well? Uh, move it so I can see it move. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Has everyone enjoying uh, the 101 on the ice on the Kolnak, uh, Kolnakan route? Uh, Kebab base enjoying it. Good. I've not had a drive for that one yet. Actually, we are 101 on the uh, Kolnakan. I might do some actually expansion pack on the street uh, as well as some other stuff. Basically, my goal is I want to try and go through and um, complete journeys. Okay. I like the GP9 Canadian National one as well. Uh, don't look in, it's just there's something about it, it's nice. Probably put the camera at the other end in case you can the wagons where you're going. Good point. I can't remember what you're going into, whether it's empty or not. Is it, is it the back okay. of the, the formation that back you stop at? Any, any part of the formation is okay. to be that marker, but normally it's the back of the train. Did you notice I used the word formation? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to make a note, CSX Cumberland Yard has stored locomotives at this side of the yard and other points of the yard as well. They, they, they change all over what they're doing. This used to be a hump yard. Um, and we're actually in what they call the bowl, um, but they don't use it as a hump yard anymore. They stopped using it a while ago, long, quite, quite a long time ago now. Um, so, um, yeah, they're looking, I guess they're, us they're using it for all sorts of things because they, uh, with um, the precision railroading, they're sort of changing how they, how they need to, um, to use yards and how they move cars around. So they don't really need this big yard, I don't think, the way they were using it before. It's the couplings compressing. If you imagine they're springs, and you're only oh. braking with the loco at one end, the sort of um, they'll spring around a little bit now. What are we doing here? Um, so you've got to one couple. Can you do it if you're like flying around? Yeah, the camera's fine. Yeah. How does one get it? To you have to use what they call a cut bar. Um, that thing on the bottom left. Oh. There we go. Drop its handbrake while you're. Uh, the Which one that's rolling break? away. The one that's rolling away. Where's its handbrake? Uh, it's like a big wheel. It's on the other side of the car. Where, 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 where? 
Uh, it's a, it's a, a wheel on the end of the car. Uh, if you'd look at the other end. Oh, as in literally the other end. Literally the other end. That. Lengthways. Uh, there should be a wheel. If you just turn that wheel. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm not close enough. I'm panicking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 gaining momentum. Well, you're on a gradient, aren't you? Oh yeah. Do the thing. Do the thing. <laughs> You keep releasing. It's done. It's d I panicked. Okay. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Now you can go. Can uh, do your next move. Check your points. Check your points and do your next move. All right. Let's do the reversey thing. Let's do points. Where are we going? Probably reversing back where you came from. To be fair, so I imagine. Yeah, I don't think it's being changed. Yeah, I don't think anything. No. no, the way I set these up is they're very much in out, in out. To be fair, in real life, you'd probably had more training. Do you think? I, I sincerely hope train. so. <laughs> that was like watching the movie Unstoppable. I'm going. Is that Duran Duran song about um, runaway trains? Well, there's talking about the brakes. There's a song called Pressure Off. Come Undone is, a, is another song. Yeah, I mean, it sounds feels a little bit more, it's not puzzly as such, but it feels a little bit more, drive a bit, stop, switch some switches, drive a bit, work out where you're uncoupling and coupling, drive a bit, you know. It's a nice change of pace from yeah. plastic down the line. Yard only DLC might be cool. <sighs> and switching's not that popular with players, um, Caldo. Um, there's more interest in and in, in blasting down the line. Um, it's one of those things that there's a you know there is a dedicated but smaller group of people that like switching, but the majority don't really like it. That last switch that needs doing. Which one? This one. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Nice. So what we do this time is when um, when you um, stop. Yes. Uh, before you uncouple, um, do a uh, full service application of the um, automatic brake. That would be this one. The, the big one. Yeah, the semicolon apostrophe one that you normally use on the keyboard for other trains. And what that will do is it will apply the brakes on the wagons or the freight cars, so when you uncouple them, the brakes are already on. So I don't have to worry about a runaway. It won't be. It won't be running away. I mean, in reality, again, you would um, 
apply handbrakes. Have I got the brake on still or something? Yes, I do. It's better without the brakes, isn't it? It actually, it, it wants to move more without the brakes. It's really weird. It was, it was kind of screaming. <laughs> 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 Much like the chat. <laughs> John, if you ping one of the mods, they'll they'll tell you my, my YouTube channel is relatively easy to find. Now we don't use the bell just to help you, because it frankly drives us all mad. Madder. Which bell? The bell. The bell. In, in theory, if you were in a real um, yard, if you're doing moves like this, you would be using the bell all the time. Is there a bell? Yeah, press B. See? You even got a reward for it. I don't know if it's still doing the thing. I can't hear it. Go back to the train. Oh yeah, there you go. Ask JD about using the bed, he loves it. <laughs> I'm keeping the bell on for the time, because I can't hear it down there. Oh, they don't? Oh, okay. People are telling me all sorts of different things, train boy, then. Oh, so the bell shouldn't stay on. So yeah, when you're ready to stop, just use your automatic brake to stop because at least that way it'll have the, uh, uh, it'll charge the, uh, it'll set the brakes on the cars. Okay. Wait, should I stop with the regular brake and then apply the automatic or just go full automatic? Don't go full automatic to stop. Use a little bit of automatic to stop because because every single axle on the train will, will stop. It will break the train if you're using the automatic, so you won't need much to get the train stopped fairly quickly. Um, Once it's stopped, um, put a bit more on the automatic brake just so that the brakes are a little bit more set on the uh, okay. cars and then go over and do your own couple. And then am I okay to, to like remove the independent? Don't touch anything until you've done the own couple. Yes. Um, and once you've done that, then you can just release both brakes. Let's do the own couple. Get the car oh, bar on Oh, I see. It didn't do the thing where it tried to escape. So now you can just release both brakes. Uh, okay. Well, before you do that, set your path. Oh, yeah. Which again, I think in this case is straight back where you came from. Yeah. That way, that way, that way. That way. Yeah. In case everybody's wondering why I'm so precious about the path, it, um, did you see me driving G6? <laughs> 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 Wait, it wants me to wait. Why am I waiting? What do, what, what do you wait for? What, it's are, just me. what are we waiting for? Waiting for a thing. What thing? What thing are we waiting for? Time. Did I did I shunt too quickly? I, I think it's probably got like a one or two minute wait timer on it or something. I'm not quite sure what it's doing the wait for. We'll see. Probably. I won't forget about the brake this time, don't worry. I, I know that one of them is still applied. Actually, should I do that? It's fine. You can release the automatic brake now. Um, yeah. I've got the independent on. I think I've still got the independent on. Yeah, you have, yeah. Try release. Well, well, releasing the brakes let me go. I don't think it'll let me go just because I've taken off the brake. Try moving. Maybe it's it's somehow confused on the coupling instructions. It's normally only a 10 second wait on these coupling instructions. Go back and double check, make sure it hasn't recoupled or something tough. No, it's not recoupled. No, it has recoupled. Stop it. That's why it's getting all uppity then. Now Rude! I told you not to. Oh, 
Right, which one's the was I on copper? Was it this middle one? Oh no, gravity. Apply the automatics. No, we'll go with that. We're doing it now, sweet. Oh, now you'd have to chase it for a handbrake again. Yeah, it's fine. Press okay. T, just double check the instruction, or is she it? She is on? judging me. Did you see that look? Oh yeah, no, there's sass coming from there. That's... Right. Um, what did we want me to do? Press T and let's have a look at the instruction. Let's see if we want, if we did we uh, uncouple the right one there. What you think I uncoupled the wrong one? Scroll up a bit. I can't no, stop it. Okay, see? Uh, stop, oh, that's been different. Uh, one couple of four vehicles. Clearly, it doesn't think I've done that. Doesn't think you've done that. Okay, you said uncoupled three vehicles, and you've uncoupled four, I think. If you go My fly up the uh, goodness. front. goodness. Let's find out. Yeah, let's see what we've done here. So, uh, go and recouple again. Yeah, we need to recouple. We need to recouple that one. Yeah. Darn it. I hope everyone's paying attention so that when they do it, they don't make the same mistake. This is all for education. Yes. We make mistakes so you don't have to. Gotta be careful with um, uncoupling the American stuff because because of the or them being auto couplers they uh, they will recouple. Now. Right now, if you um, yeah reapply we're your automatic brake. Yeah, we're doing. I'm cheating again. Don't judge me. Oh, this one's already got the hat. No, it's got the hat. Boom. There we go. Look, see, now it's happy with me to go to the, the correct place. Yeah, there you go. Forward, so how confident are you feeling on the uh, on the challenge? Not very, Matt. Not very. But hey, you just had a ton of experience. Yeah, actually. I'd say I'm more confident now than I would have been this morning. Um, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I am currently raining trauma, so... You know. You're, you're, you're I'm confident. After this expert tutorial. Well, tutorial. Wait, I'll need to release a handbrake. Which handbrake? The one, the one, the wagon that's currently on the end of your train. The handbrake is still set, isn't it? The boxcar on the end of the train. It's, you're just dragging against the... Are you dying? Back. That one on the back. Can I do it while we go? Three camera would be much useful. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we got there eventually. <laughs> Londo, what we're saying is if Nat doesn't win, then we should blame the prof. That's absolutely right, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm speeding. Glad you're enjoying it, Dorokin. Oh, you're off again. Awesome. The box car would be smoking. Yeah. Sparks, uh, Widow. Um, that's uh, that's on a different route. That's not a pass. That's not in this game. That's probably not what you meant, is it? <laughs> I love the smell of burning brakes in the morning. It smells like victory. That is what it's going to be like when I win the shot. You should be doing the challenge. No, they didn't invite me, so. You weren't in the meeting. No, I'm never in the <laughs> meeting these days, am I? My calendar today, I think I had three meetings booked at 3 pm. And then I think I had two more at 3 30 pm. Literally simultaneous. So, I flip a dice these days, so I flip a coin these days. Which, which of the multiple meetings booked simultaneously am I going to attend?
Will she, will she nag me if I do turn up to the sword? Which one do I get the most peace and quiet by missing? <laughs> no, none of them qualify for that. Yeah, that's the thing. Right, and I'm just going to go in No, they were productive meetings, you know, they, they weren't uh, meetings about meetings or anything strange like that. They were genuinely, they were all, they're all good meetings that all need to be done. I end up just having to get some of them moved. It's like, am I important to this meeting? If so, it'll need to be moved. If I'm not important to this meeting, then fair enough, carry on. Right, it's usually ones with me if you miss it and it's important, I'll ring you another time. I get this. Matt want, Nat wants you to join this meeting. Does she really? Reject. Oh. <laughs> oh, you said, we just. <laughs> no, Everyone's going to think we absolutely despise each other. <laughs> is the expansion pack available for PS4? It is for Elf and Randolph's available on all seven platforms. So just a few then. Yep. We're all over the place now. Can I name all seven platforms? Yes, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, uh, X uh, Microsoft Win 10, Xbox Store, uh, Epic, and Steam. <laughs> languages were localized into as well. It's really French, Italian, confident. German, Spanish, Polish, Russian, and simplified Chinese. Do you know that your mic's be misbehaving again? Typical. Well, no, Microsoft Windows 10 Xbox platform is kind of one thing, um, train boy. It's the Xbox Game Pass for Win 10, essentially. It's eight? No, it's not eight platforms. Did you, did you name eight, though? No. No, but one of them I named is sufficiently sounded like about three platforms. It's four console platforms and three PC platforms, basically. Yeah. Could there be another expansion pack, like in Motion Outdoor? I mean, anything's possible. We've got nothing planned, Mr. Q. By all means, go into the suggestion and sort of, you know, what would you like to see as an expansion pack? Um, it would actually be really valuable to know what you like about this pack and what areas you aren't so keen on. Um, what for you'd like to see and what value you'd think you'd see. You know, if you think about what, you know, the way we've described the three different things that are in this pack, so the, the resurrected SD40, the 50th birthday of the TFL train, um, and the 43, um, you know, uh, looking, running on the S-Bahn services. If you're thinking about what, um, uh, you know, if you're thinking, I'll oh, run it on this route, what, what's the theme? You know, what's the, what, what does it, add, what, what livery or train would it add? What theme would it bring? What would you think the gameplay around? Um, and uh, that kind of thing. Come on, some really interesting ideas, probably. I'm sure. You don't think I've uncoupled it. I don't. I, I put the big brake on. Remember, there's a few second wait. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We did it. We did the thing. Alright, I'm gonna try and get him moving again before it has a tantrum and try to recouple it. What I do generally try and peck actually is I go into, on this route particularly, I go on to the. Um, the Cumberland switchback scenario, which is a free roam scenario with a bunch of freight cars laid around, a bunch of locos laid around. I'll make up a tra train of locos, like two or three locos, and set them all up and use a turntable and so forth. And then I'll just set myself a goal, like find all of the um, the box cars and put them in one thing, or find all of the tank cars and, and just go and hunt and search things around and move trains around and uh, find any wagon that's got a forward its number and put them in a train. It's just because it's, it's fun to do switching. It doesn't really matter what the, you know, if it, if it doesn't make sense why, you, you know, what rules you picked at the end of the day. It's just 
give yourself a criteria and then go and hunt things down and find them, set them up into a train. What's the purpose all the ones of all of this, by the way? Like, why couldn't they all just be in one big mine? Because those, the idea is that those have all come in um, from different trains. Okay. So a train. So what you'll find, actually, if you were to play the the, the whole of these Y1 um, switching things, you'll find that um, during the course of the day, a train, a big one of the big trains, a freight train, will come in um, from one end of the route or the other, and come into the yard, stop, drop off the, perhaps the last 15 or 20 wagons, and then it will roll on down and leave the and leave the yard. Um, and or another one, another one. So you, and multiple trains will do that to give you some. Uh, be wagons and you'll move them from where they're dropped off and put them into the bowl this bit area you're working in at the moment what well, the sorting bowl you then rearrange those cars into a new order and then you when another train would come in you'd then put this new bit on the back of that train so right. that it then takes those cars out so effectively you end up with what might be a train coming from washington bad example but coming from say washington um a car would come in from washington and get dropped off and then get added to a train going to detroit as it left gotcha. so it's really resorting it and in the days where this was actually a hump yard they would literally just push the train of wagon uh, freight cars over the hump which is a lump literally a hump mm -hmm. um and they auto uncouple and get auto sorted down so you just see this rain of wagons just flowing into the um uh, into the bowl there and being sorted uh, that way. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is a really, really neat system that they used to use. But um, uh, again, it's it's not used. Uh, but it's, if they stopped using it here, he held uh, Hunter Harrison stopped the process uh, or the practice of um, up shunting. Can you build your own Caltrain with diesel switching? Yeah, the MP15 has you make up. Um, a couple of trains actually. Uh, one of the ones it has you make up is the um, um, the celebration train, um, um, and um, um, yes, yeah, so it has you make up the celebration train, which is essentially taking two separate units um, and combining them into one unit. Yeah. Simon Trainer, these things do normally happen in the middle of the night, however, this that turns out to be really not very much fun in the game. Yeah. Have I still got the brakes on? Yes. That's why it doesn't want to go. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Is there any update regarding the Harlem night? Not yet. Yeah, the MP15 is fun. Some really cool things you can do with MP15. Simon Trainer, you get a similar example with sleepers in Europe. Two trains from Munich and Zurich will swap coaches. Continue on to Amsterdam and Berlin. Yeah, exactly. All sorts of fun stuff. This is like just so chill to do as well, isn't it? Because just nice and slow and you're going backwards and forwards. Well you can also do it at your own pace. You don't yeah. move the loco until you you know where you're going, you're happy with it. Right, we're good. Now move it just down the line, couple up to those cars. Right, now we check what we're going to do. So there's none of this. I'm barreling towards the station. What do I do? Yeah. Uh, button the buttons. Which is something I didn't forget about. And I did recently as well. It's, it happens. Why isn't the brakes applying? Ah! Mm. Oh yeah. Wrong buttons. <laughs> wrong train for those kind of brakes. Were there when ever I panic, I press the wrong buttons. Well, this is what we do, isn't it? Were there any heavy hump yards in the UK? Yes. In fact, the um, uh, infamous Gron uh, Gronk Class 08, there was a special um, one-off. I think there was only a couple of them, or if, if, if that in reality. Um, the, they made a thing called a Class 13, which was essentially um, two Gronks hard coupled together and the cab was then sort of removed from the other one and that was used for hump shunting at um, Tysley was it? Boggy or no? But you also find that it does, 
Yeah, hump in the UK. Yeah, there, it's, I mean, it's done there. It's still done in some places in the States. Um, Germany does um, hump shunting. It's a, uh, a common, uh, it's a common practice for uh, making it easier to bulk sort freight cars. Tinsley, that's it. I need, to wait, I need to wait for the brake pressure to come up now, right? Yes, your BP is at 31. <laughs> Try peg from high speed to shunting, you'll find everything in Train Sim World 2. Hobby for trains, Alex. Absolutely. What I might do is, Matt, because otherwise we are going to be here all night, is probably call it. We've probably been going long enough, haven't we? Yeah, I think it's probably a good stopping point that as well, while the brakes are charging and stuff, so... Um, I don't know about you, but I've had a lot of fun tonight. Um, yeah, totally. And I hope everybody else has enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, um, if, you, if you're going to get the packet, it's great fun. I mean, I've had a great fun. Yeah, there's lots of fun stuff to do in there. There's some the trains and the new liveries are making an interesting change. Obviously, got the new horn on the uh, uh, on the SD40 as well. That will be coming to Clinchfield uh, in the fullness of time. Um, so um, there's uh, yeah, there's lots to see in there. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, and let us know on the suggestions for them, what you think about it, uh, yeah. what you'd like to see more of, um, and um, yeah, we can uh, we'll, we're certainly interested to see that feedback. And do you know what, we're actually, we're interested to see the feedback if you actually are enjoying it. Often I think sometimes people feel a bit um, like they can't say if they're enjoying a pack or not. Um, we want to hear both positive and critical feedback. So tell mm. us why you like something if you like it. Um, we want to hear it. And equally, if you're not that keen on it, we'd like to know, we'd like to know that too. So thanks everybody. I've had a really fun night. I don't know about you, Matt. I've, have, you, have you had a good night? Oh, totally. It's been really good. Yeah, I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed it. It's nice to not be driving for a change. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm thought it would make a nice change. Point. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> you enjoy your stream tomorrow, um, in streaming until middle of the night. Um, and I will see everybody next week on stream. So. Yes, excellent. Uh, for, before you head out, just one reminder, if you're experiencing any crashes, yes. go to the technical reports forum, join in the crash thread um, uh, so that we can um, keep trying to uh, progress this uh, crash investigations. Absolutely. Folks, thanks very much. Bye-bye.